Hello, and welcome to Differential Discussions. I'm Melissa. And I'm Dave. And today we're going to talk about ALL, so acute lymphocytic leukemias. A blast is a blast is a blast. A blast is a blast. Yep. The thing with ALL blasts is that morphologically, they can either look like a blast, right? Like myeloid, nice big blast with some cytoplasm, but a big nucleus, prominent nucleoli. Or they can look like a smaller blast with scanty cytoplasm. And sometimes it looks like you colored it in with either a colored pencil or a crayon and then smudged it with your finger so that you really can't see the details inside. So the blast in ALL, yes, a blast is a blast is a blast, but it varies by patient what they look like morphologically. Definitely. I, I can say that I've leaned on the other presentation markers a lot. So like the, the fact that like this particular patient here, there's no platelets, mm -hmm. right? The patient is incredibly anemic. Um, so, you know, when you have extreme situations like that, it becomes a sort of signal that you might be dealing with some kind of a, a luke. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I, I have to cheat. I lean on that a lot, right? And <laughs> So that's a good point. We're not in a bad area here. There yeah. just is no good area. Yep. <laughs> They're so anemic that it's kind of hard to find a good spot to do a dip. And, and where would you see this first? You know, like, obviously you get your, um, your, CBC data. Uh, but short of that, when you're making the smear, my guess is when you made the smear, it went long. Mm -hmm. And you're like, huh. And then you put a little less blood and it's still going long, maybe, you know? Uh, and, and it's yep. there's not a lot of cells. Yep. yep. Um, but I would say that I can tell that this particular cell is a blast. Um, this one does have some, some blast features to it. Uh, yep. Not a ton of cytoplasm somewhat small but so i don't know how to say that it's like big for a lymph but small for a blast yeah it is small for a blast because we've been seeing like more myeloid blasts which are prominent and in your face and these guys are a little bit smaller so maybe rather than fitting three red cells inside of a blast you can only fit two in these because they're a little bit smaller mm -hmm. This one tend, uh, happens to have kind of like a, a hemispheric kind of uh, um, lobes to it, which is not uncommon. Nope. Yeah, but he looks like a blast. A, a blast. A, more of like an ALL type of blast. So now we're going to try to look around and find some more. Oh, good cooperating. <laughs> um, so... Again, not a lot of visible cytoplasm, and I'm taking note. And we, I have the luxury and the benefit of that previous cell that was a little more explicit about what it is, right? So then it makes it easier for me to call this one a blast. Yep, agreed. And I, I think I tend to say this a lot too. I, you, I repeat myself, but um, once I'm in a malignancy and I feel with a high degree of confidence that I'm looking at a malignancy for it to be called the lymph it's gotta look like a good healthy lymph yeah. otherwise yeah. yeah I agree otherwise it's guilty and hopefully guilty guilty by association yeah so like this is a great example yep someone could say well that's a lymph <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like even a, like resting limbs don't have a ton of cytoplasm i can still see some cytoplasm. there's nothing here there's also those little um white like clearings right which is a, a little abnormal subtle but abnormal yeah yeah but but again it's hard to see that blasty texture that we are always talking about in the chromatin pattern in the cell yeah yeah it just looks like Almost like a stray nucleus, but stray yeah. nuclei are usually smudged yeah. or like you can see the, it, 
it's from an NRBC and it's super condensed and it's super dark if it's one of those stray nuclei. So yeah. this one isn't a stray nuclei. It most likely has cytoplasm. We just can't see it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're really, really detailed with your the way you look at it, you can see it's like a dark blue, yeah, like kind of outline. Yeah, especially at the top. Yeah, right there. Just peeking. Yeah. Oh. There we go. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to say ditto for the one on top. Like, <laughs> I can't see enough detail to prove to me that it's normal, personally. Um, so I might be heavy-handed with calling that one. Um, it, I could also see that if you could visualize the nuclear chrominant pattern, you could call this a regular lymph. And, and, and that, you know, I think that would be fine. Um, what do you think about that one, Melissa? How does it look to you? It looks like a lymph. Yeah, so we get a normal lymph here. Um, the cell on the bottom is making our job easier, right? Yeah. That nothing is normal about that. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it's got the abnormal looking chromatin. It almost looks like there's a nucleoli right there. Yeah. And then of course you have this abnormal white clearing area, mm -hmm. and then it's got a little bleb for cytoplasm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looked like a platelet next to it. Oh, huh, maybe. Yeah. Let's see. I think you're right. But yeah, we're going yeah, with that right. one. I think the only place you can actually see cytoplasm is right there. Mm. And again, right? It's just like the that dark. And then we can go back to this other cell, right? So the, the normal lymph, it's got cytoplasm. Mm. Is it a little squished and looks like it's been through the ringer? Yeah, a little bit, but um, this is more cytoplasm than that one than the other two cells combined, probably, that we've seen so far. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yep. More blasts. Yep. So I'm comfortable with calling both of those normal limbs. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep, they look like limbs. Yeah. And then Yep, so we got a blast. You're a bad guy. Yeah, that's a bad guy. Yeah. Again, you really can't see the cytoplasm. And and the chromatin is like right? Like it, it, lymphs are weird. Sorry to say, folks, but lymphs are. I always say lymphs are the bane of our existence as Capricorians. <laughs> They're really tricky in all sorts of ways normal, abnormal. Lymphs are tricky. Looks like another blast. Yeah. I find myself like moving my head around like it's going to make a difference as to how it looks. <laughs> yeah, I would do blast again. Yeah, I agree. And so I think really it's mostly blast that we're seeing and then of course these occasional oh my god we got cytoplasm. Yeah. <laughs> And, and ALL typically presents this way, right? I, I'm 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 going to presume too. This was likely a pediatric patient. Usually, um, th this is a pretty common, yeah, childhood ALL. Yeah. Kind so of leukemia is what twenty five percent of all childhood cancers, and seventy five percent of those are ALL. Yep. And okay. a lot of children present with blasts that look like this. Mm -hmm. And in fact, in the FAB classification, they used to call this childhood ALL. And then the other form, the blasts that look more like myeloid, they used to call that more of an adult ALL, mm. another subtype. Now, we, of course, we look at cytogenetics and flow cytometry and things like that. But still, a lot of children, their, their ALL blasts look like this. Mm. Mm.
can't get over how anemic they are too. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, that's the the so interesting part is just how anemic and how thrombocytopenic they are. Yeah, this is bad. I can only assume this patient was like very like pale pallor. Um, yeah, this one looks like a blast to me. Yeah. Um, yep. Mm. <laughs> so, you know, darker clumping, right? On the, in, um, yeah. And, and so while the, a lot of the, te so texture in the nucleus and lymphs is actually kind of hard to see any. Mm -hmm. Um, but th this one's at least showing me those dark purple areas, so I feel more comfortable calling it a lymph. Yeah, yep. But this lymph is bigger than most of the other lymphs that we've seen. Mm, agreed. So it's it's easier for newer laboratorians to be like, well, that's a blast because it's bigger, yeah. like the other ones are. Yeah. You have to look at texture. Yep. Yeah, and and really have that sense of uh, how the cells laying out on the slide, you know. So see, like this guy is so small, it's hard to see, but we can tell he's sort of clumped. But yeah, yeah. the other guy was bigger, but again, the texture was easier for us to see in the nucleus, you know, as compared to this guy. Yep. Oh, awesome blasts. Yeah, and and they we can I so before we saw like those two kind of like lobe looking things and we're kind of seeing two or three perhaps and yeah. in, in this one yeah yeah I'm seeing some degree of uniformity between some of the blasts yeah yeah and when we look at for the most part when we look at myeloblasts or myeloid lineage blasts they're blasts right they're nice one giant nucleus that's sort of ovoid with a decent amount of cytoplasm, but the nucleus still takes up the majority of the cell. You don't usually see those blasts mm -hmm. lobulating like this guy is, mm -hmm. where he's got those lobes. Occasionally, you see them being pleomorphic and making shapes, but for the most part, you don't see that as often. But with limbs, yeah, I'm going to talk about the red cells again. Yeah, one two, three, four. You can't normally comfortably count red cells. Yeah. This is insane. And it's not like you're in a, a thin area. No. I can tell that these red cells are in a great area for you to do morphon. And they're just, there's none of them. It's crazy. Yep. Yeah. And that's the thing too. And that's how we can tell these, this patient is super anemic and super thrombocytopenic. So if, for example, this is a field that you showed me, you could safely say this is an acute leukemia because of the anemia and the thrombocytopenia, because you don't usually get to that degree with chronics. Oh, absolutely not. Yeah. Chronics usually have really elevated whites. So even if you don't have a lot of reds, you're going to have a lot of whites, mm -hmm. the leukemic whites, but still. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So okay. this is a crazy one. Let's just look at like one or two more examples. In the... Sure. We've got another lymph. Normal lymph, yep. <laughs> what the heck? Can you see them all? No. I can't. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I wanted them all, the other one and all of these in the same field, but I can't. Yeah. Um. So bottom of the field and the right here is like blast blasts. Yeah. Uh, not even gonna think about it. Uh, and then I'm inclined to call that one a blast on the left. Yeah. Those little dot clearings there. Mm, yeah. It's not a lot of cytoplasm again. Yeah. Don't like those. Yeah. Now what about the one that's up? So like on the one hand, this doesn't really look like the blast that we've been seeing. No. But it also doesn't look normal to me. No. So like I would blast category this one as yeah. well. So like, yeah, even though he's clumpy er. Yep. Dark, clumpy, but uh -uh. it's just really abnormal. And it's hard to articulate exactly why we feel that way. Yeah, he doesn't he just doesn't look right. 
it's our spidey sense right is our something just kind of yeah unfortunately sometimes it's just my gut told me so i know it's tough yeah i hate that i know it's hard to explain mm -hmm. it's hard to explain so let's not end on this crack so let's look at one more so we get a nice one mm. so a nice comparison where you have the blast and the limp yep together yep agreed so I think summary the one of the big things people should take away are the anemia and thrombocytopenia the severity here we can safely say it's acute yep. also with the number of cell, white cells that we're seeing yeah because yep. if it were chronic there would be much more white cells present mm -hmm. and then ALL blasts sometimes they look interesting with scanty cytoplasm and it almost looks like they're lobulated and they don't look quite as clean mm -hmm. as, as myeloid type blasts mm -hmm. where it almost looks like yeah, you're cookie cuttering and then hole punching in the center here it's a little bit harder yep so. yeah it's really difficult uh, to, these are tough to teach and tough to learn yeah anything with limbs is tough mm -hmm. But I think Great. that's all we've got for today. So thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for your time. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like notifications whenever we post a new video. And feel free to reach out to us on social media or via email with comments or suggestions about future content. Thanks.